Good day and thank you for checking out my tech tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pack a Cyberlink project and then how to open a packed Cyberlink project. This can be done for quite a few reasons, partly troubleshooting and partly performance. So you're going to go ahead and choose pack out of the file interface there. Ideally you'll want to create a new location for the project on the fastest medium that you have, um, SSD preferably. That'll allow you to reload the project as fast as possible and have ac fast access to it while recoding. I've sped up the next portion to go ahead and uh, pack it quicker than real time since this project had some decently big files in it. It was also coming off of spinning medium. Once the project is packed, to get a clean reload of it, I find the best way is to go ahead and exit the program rather than just opening up the new project. Relaunching the program, nice and clean. And then once you're back in the program, you're going to open up project. This is where you have to remember where you placed that project when you were packing it. Now you can pack it to go ahead and share it with someone to remove the files that weren't being used in the project. There's lots of good reasons to pack a project. So here you see the file that was created, uh, the project file that was created by packing it. So we select it and open it. And depending on the options that you selected when packing, um, you'll have the media that was completely included in the project or only the used media. And here you can see that the project's here. I'm going to go ahead and scrub through different parts of the project to show you that it indeed has the files connected. Thank you very much for checking out my tutorial video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. If you make suggestions, I may just use them for my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.